everybody, it's Megan here from East Cam's Children and Family Centres. I'm normally in the Ely Centre, but today I'm in our Sewham Centre. Now, I hope you all had a lovely, lovely Christmas and are enjoying the Christmas break. Um, while our centres are still not open, we thought it'd be nice for you to have a bedtime story from us. So today we are reading a um, special book about a season, and it's actually the season we're in right now. Does any do any of you know that season? I'll give you a few minutes. Do you know? I'll give you a clue. It's not autumn. We've just had autumn. It's not summer because we have lots of lovely hot weather in summer, and it's definitely hot. Not right now. Um, and it's not spring, so we're missing one. Which one is it? It's actually in today's story title. It's winter, winter, and today's book is called Robin's Winter Song. Now it's written and it's illustrated by Suzanne Barton. So I hope you're all cosy and ready for today's story. Now it's based on a little bird, a robin. It was a beautiful autumn day when the robin sang from his branch as it swayed in the breeze. He saw the leaves swirling in the wind and twisting and turning and rising and falling. But something was different. But what was it? The squirrels were scurrying and the mice were scampering. And high up in the branches, the finches were fluttering going somewhere? The robin asked the finches. Well, we're getting ready to fly south, they chirped. Winter is coming. Who is winter? asked robin. And why don't you want to meet him? But the finches didn't hear him and in a flurry they were gone. Down on the ground the squirrel was busy digging. What are you doing? The robin asked. Well, I'm busy burying these nuts before winter comes, said the squirrel. Well, winter sounds very greedy, thought robin, and he flew off to the big oak tree. I don't like the sound of winter at all, robin told owl. Do you think I should fly south with the finches? No, said Owl, it's too far for you. You must stay here and be sure to keep warm and snug or you'll be cold when winter comes. He looked on sadly as the rest of his friends flew south. Off they go. How he wished he could go with them. I hope they come back soon, he sighed. Later in the woods, the robin spotted a bear and he glided down happy to meet a friend. Where are you going? he asked. Well, I'm off to find a cosy cave to sleep in for the winter, said Bear. Even Bear was hiding. Robin remembered what Owl had told him and he needed to find somewhere warm and snug, somewhere far away from winter. Can I come with you? he asked the bear. Robin and Bear settled comfortably in Bear's cave. How many sleeps until winter goes away? asked Robin. Just one, thought the bear. So that's not too bad. He snuggled close to Bear and squeezed his eyes shut. Before long he heard Bear's snores soft and gentle. And soon Robin fell asleep too. Oh, having a nice little cuddle. When Robin stirred, he felt a chill in the air. It was very cold. Perhaps winter's here, he thought. Robin flew to the opening of the cave and as he peeped out, he gasped. What can he see? The whole wood had turned white and everything sparkled and shimmered and white flakes were falling from the sky. How beautiful!
fanciful, thought the robin, as he tiptoed out into the fresh, crunchy white. What is it? What's it called? Snow. As Robin hopped and slipped happily through the woods, he came across all sorts of animals. But why is everything white? he asked Mouse. It's snow, of course, squeaked the mouse. Look around you, Robin. It's winter. This is winter, gasped the Robin. He couldn't believe it. Winter wasn't scary at all. In fact, it was wonderful. The forest was transformed and Robin loved exploring it with his new friends. He chased snowflakes with the owl and he helped the squirrel find his acorns. And at night, everyone snuggled together to keep warm. Robin was having such a wonderful wintry fun time that time passed quickly. And one day he noticed shoots sprouting out of the ground. Something was different, but what was it? And then he realised, the snow, it's melting, he said. That means it's time to wake Bear, said Mr Squirrel. Bear yawned, and he stretched and rubbed his eyes. Winter's almost gone, he sighed. But I love winter, said Robin. Why does it have to go? Because spring is coming, smiled the bear. Robin didn't know what spring was, but this time he was sure that he wanted to find out. I can't wait to meet spring, he sang joyfully. And that's the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the new year for more. See you later. Bye bye.